Hey guys, it's Mike at uh, Mike's Goldwing Garage. Uh, today I'm going to be installing a uh, fuse block extension, one of these. Got this one from Electrical Connection. Uh, they're not sponsoring me, um, this is out of my own pocket as far as this purchase goes. It's going to be part of a uh, lighting upgrade that I'm doing, so stick around and I'll show you how this gets installed. Okay guys, so the first part uh, that we need to work on is to get to the side panel, get to the battery. So I just want to uh, start by clearing this area here real quick. We'll pop the seat off, that'll make it a lot easier. Um, plus we need to get underneath the seat for the, uh, for the relay. So let me just go ahead and spin this off really quick and, uh, and we'll get ready to go. Okay, with those handles off, we can just pull this this little padding that I've got in here. Okay, then we can uh, just pop the seat off, just lift it up in the back and uh, the front out. Don't forget about the uh, the cable for the uh, the seat heater. And with that out, we can pull the seat away. Then we'll need to uh, open up the saddlebag to get our side panel off. All right, now with the side panel, we want to uh, just pop this out at the top and work our way back just really gently. Set that aside. And that exposes all the battery and the uh, and your fuse box. All right. So with that exposed, we can go ahead and we can start working on prepping for the uh, uh, for the extension. So I'll show you how we do that. Okay, guys. Just to get started, first thing we want to talk about is safety. So when you're in on the battery, always remember uh, disconnect the ground ground first all the time. So we want to just make sure, too, if you have any additional wires in there like I do, just go ahead and make sure that they're removed out of the way. And then we also make sure that this is out of the way a little bit so that that way it doesn't contact that grounding post. And at that point, you should be good to go to, to work on this system. Okay, so with that out, and following the instructions, the, um, the instructions suggest to mount this on the battery, like right about in that position. Um, I, you know, I have reservations about that. Number one, we'd probably be able to clear the side panel with the height of this, um, but if you ever have to replace the battery, then you have to go ahead and get more Velcro and all that sort of stuff. So, um, and I've got a, a, a few ideas and thoughts as far as how I want to do my distribution, uh, my electrical distribution with my positives and grounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually run this up in here. I'm going to mount this back on the rear wheel fender and we'll mount this right to the frame here. This is the relay. And then we'll take these wires, kind of come underneath here to the battery and then tie into the uh, positive and negative on the battery and then also the accessory um, terminal on the fuse block. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull some of these wires out, make some room and kind of route this through in this position. And uh, when I get done with that, we'll get right back to you. Okay, guys, I just wanted to get a close-up here, so hopefully I can get this without shaking too much. So all I've done is taken uh, some small zip ties and tied that around the frame right here. And then also coming over here, I just grabbed and wrapped around the wire. I brought the positive through 
underneath. Had to fight with the, with the main uh, wire bundle a little bit, but that should be okay, and we'll tie that in there. And then um, also these two, the blue and the black leads here, uh, coming through for your ground on the black, and the blue goes to the accessory um, post inside of the, uh, of the fuse box. And the routing for the cable comes back up here underneath this crossbar, and it'll be sitting right here, and I can mount that in fairly well with some uh, Velcro and, uh, and keep that attached down. And then we'll be able to, to uh, tie in with all of the fuses and, uh, and terminals there for the electrical distribution. So now for securing this block down, I'm going to use some Velcro. They provide a, uh, um, a Velcro with it, but I've got a little bit more industrial strength Velcro that I've picked up at Home Depot. And um, that's what I would rather use on this. I want to make sure that it's good and stuck and not coming off. They do give you a little alcohol pad to clean everything. So we just want to make sure that the area where we're mounting to is good and clean. And then also the back of the fuse block. Just wipe that down. And uh, let it dry a little bit. And then we'll put the Velcro on. Now I like putting the, the soft fuzzy portion of the Velcro on the actual accessory and then put the hooks on the um, on the bike just my personal preference I think that you know if I ever had to clean anything on the bike because you get a lot of dust on it it's either easier to pull the accessory off and then clean the hooks um, rather than the other way around so um, so we'll put the fuzzy side there and we're going to put the hooks here and what I like to do is just attach the hooks to the fuzzy part and then position the block where I want it to be and then just push it down and secure it and just hold it in there give it a good press and that should be good now um, I'm going to leave that I'm not going to pull it or mess with it uh, for a good 24 hours, get it good and let it uh, get good and stuck. We'll go ahead and hook up the uh, the electrical, and then we should be ready, except for the drying. All right. So now with the electrical, um, we're going to go into the accessory block and hook that up. So on this blue wire here, we want to strip a little bit of this back. And then put this terminal end on that they provide. Just give that a little squeeze without tearing it apart. All right. Okay. And then we take our fuse box off. And then we want the top terminal here, which is the positive. So we just loosen that terminal up. Just kind of route that wire and slide it in underneath there. And secure that back down. I went on top of the washer there. You can probably go underneath it, get a little bit more. Yeah. I think I'll do that. Let's go under the washer. Yeah, that looks a lot better. So we'll snug that down. And then we'll, we'll kind of route this wire underneath here. There's a little um, plastic box covering the main wire bundle so maybe we can 
attach it to that. Um, okay, so that's done. So, um, so this can go back in. I just want to make sure that we do. We have a, a 5 amp fuse for the accessory terminal, which is this third slot down. And that's all we need for that. And so if need be, if you need to kind of just push that back down so you can get your cover on and get it locked. There we go. All right. And so the next is the power lead. Remember, grounds are always last. So you just want to pop this off. Just come in here and unscrew that. There we go. Okay. And um, just looking at all of this, I think I'm kind of comfortable with this just kind of laying here. Maybe I'll zip tie it to the bracket just to kind of hold it in place so it doesn't get wobbling around too much. Um, we'll, we'll see when we get there. Okay, so you want to cover this back up. Your shield back on there. We've got some extra little wires that are for some additional brake lights and things like that that I have on the bike. place just where I want it okay and uh, now for the ground let's just kind of tuck that out of the way and uh, in an upcoming video I think you'll see all of these little grounds kind of go away because I'm actually going to put a ground up here where the uh, where the fuse block is and uh, We'll show you how we're going to mount that in. And for right now, for these, I'll just go ahead and get all of these on. A little spark. That's a good sign. There we go. Don't want to get these too tight. Rather have them loose and tuck them away than have uh, too much tension on them. Oh, that's beginning to look a little spaghetti-ish, isn't it? So it'll be nice once we get this new ground uh, put in. And, uh, and it'll tighten things up, button things up, look nice. Okay, so now this fuse holder for that block is a 30 amp fuse. And that block is rated at 5 amps per, um, per connector. There's six of them in there, so however you want to match them up to get to your uh, 30 amps for this, you're fine. Um, so if you want to do a couple of 10s and a couple of 5s and leave two open, that's fine too. So, um, you know, you play it how you want to on the distribution. Yeah, I'm just going to tuck that in for now, and then I'll, I'll tie that back up. And uh, actually, that looks good right there. I'll just tie this right to the uh, bracket. And I'll just keep it from, from wiggling around. I like to do this a little bit neater, but kind of in a rush. Let me get things done before we get into a lot of good heavy riding. Okay, um, so we'll get a fuse in there. I got some uh, some lights to play around with. We'll test it out and see how it looks. So we have a little play toy 
that I've been working with. So these are some LED strip lights that I picked up through, uh, through Amazon. We've gone ahead and installed just one of the mini 5 amp fuses. The nice thing about this, will, this will take uh, both the minis and the large fuses. So uh, whatever you have on hand, whether it be the larger automotive fuses or the little tiny miniature fuses that come with the newer vehicles, um, they'll all fit in there. Um, so we want to just, I've got this wired in. I'm just going to touch this ground into the seat post area there. We'll, uh, we'll put it on accessory. We'll hit on. Make sure we got ground. There we go. All right. And so we can play with the colors. We can play with the mode. And that's in the accessory position, that's in the run position, and that's in the power off position on the key. So uh, we've got that wired up the way we want it, and uh, we should be ready for the next step, which will be to run power distribution from this block up front. And we've already got it in back, and we're also going to put some grounds. We'll put a ground bus right here on the back so that we can run a, a main ground into the engine from back here. And we'll also do the same up underneath the cowling. So uh, this way we have power distribution up front, power distribution up back, all fused and, uh, and protected, tied into the accessory. So stick around, come back in, a, in another week, I think. I should be ready to start that. Uh, in the meantime, look for another video uh, about the schematics around all of this stuff where I can actually get this out of my head, get it on paper, and, uh, uh, and you guys will have something that you can follow me with. So, till next time, take care. If you like the video, go ahead, hit, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, go ahead and hit that little bell so that you can be reminded that the next one's coming up for this series. Take care, guys. We'll talk to you soon.